This video covers the Telharmonic's P output. The P output is the phase modulation algorithm. This output consists of three voices whose pitches are determined by the controls on the left side of the module. See the video Voltage Controlled Music Theory for information on how those controls work. The three voices are each composed of three sine waves, one directly audible at the fundamental, and the other two set up as modulators in harmonic series. All three oscillators are phase locked. The modulation index is set by flux, with maximum index at full counterclockwise. The centroid controls two adjacent harmonic modulation partials from 1 to 8, so at counterclockwise we hear a modulator with a ratio of 1. As we turn it up, we hear 1 and 2 simultaneously, followed by just 2, followed by 2 and 3 simultaneously, etc. Algorithms of this type were common in early commercial digital synthesizers, because rich timbres are easily created from only a few components. Thus with the P algorithm, we can easily make some classic synth sounds. Here is a synth bass using animation of the flux and centroid as each note is played. We'll generate an envelope to turn up flux alongside the gating of the sound itself. As flux goes up, the sound becomes less complex, so we can use the rise time to set the length of the initial transient. And the flux panel control to set a sustain level. Molting the pitch voltage to the centroid CV in will make higher notes a little brighter, which is a classic technique for both subtractive and phase modulation synthesis. Intervals of fifths and octaves are great for sounds like this. Another approach to a bass sound would be to simultaneously control the flux and centroid with the same envelope, as in the intelligent bass patch example from the Telharmonic Manual. With subtle modulation settings and a high centroid value, we can achieve a clean, glassy sound like an electric piano. This sound is particularly strong when using triad intervals, and sounds great when run through a low-pass gate with a medium-length exponential envelope. On the P output, the flux control adds more emphasis to upper harmonics as it goes further counterclockwise. This response is the inverse of the way flux works on the H output so that the two outputs blend together very nicely, regardless of panel settings. For more information, visit makenoisemusic.com.